How you doing, YouTube? Mountain Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. Um, we have Joe. From NEPA Beer Reviews. And Ryan. Brewphoto.com. Uh, in tow today to do a little bit of review action. We're These guys are brewing some beer. I'm helping out. And we figured we'd pop off a bunch of reviews in between. And we've run through about five of them so far. So um, we're in quite the review mode at the, point, at the moment. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be doing a nice little cork and cage edition from Unita Brewing, their Labyrinth uh, beer, which says on the bottom here, Black Ale. What's from, up? Uh, 2012. Is, oh, jeez. I didn't yeah. even notice that. Yeah, yeah, I just saw that as you were spinning the bottle around. Um, so, yeah, an aged three. version. That doesn't suck. For, it is, uh, that doesn't suck. For what? $15. Oh, no. That's, um, that's real good. I'm going to go. There's more in there. Yeah, go back and get it. Anyway, um, Labyrinth Black Ale, um, it's... An imperial stout, um, ale brewed with licorice and Asian oak barrels. So, um, you know, I've had, I, the, I've had this before, and initially I was a little turned off by the licorice because I'm not a big licorice fan. Mm -hmm. But then after having it, I'm like, all right, no, this, this works. I'm trying to think what I've had from you. I had um, Cockeye Cooper, at which the, I really uh, liked, which was the uh, American Barley Wine. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that right now or something? Yeah, I you, you brought that. You brought that. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Uh, I don't remember because I remember having, and then I had another one that somebody brought, I think, to another tasting. Another Unita? Mm hmm. I think it was one of John's. I don't know. But anyway, uh, the Cockeye Cooper I really like, even though I'm not a huge American Barley Wine guy. Yeah, it, was it really worked good. for me. Um, so I'm super excited to give this a whirl. Um, label wise, to do the whole label thing, I love it. I know, it's really bizarre. Yeah. It's like one of those like things that you see on the internet that make your eyes go crazy. Yeah. 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 Like so stare at this long and you'll see Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh something about it's really cool. Like the art design, a dude up here, it's like what Pinocchio kind of character. Yeah, and like in stuck in a cubicle maze of um, epilepsy, like he said, so it's pretty cool. Um and on the side here it says Enter the Labyrinth Labyrinth whatever tomato tomato. A multi-dimensional, a multi-dimensional black ale. Uh oh, that's a new <laughs> style. Um, discover the complex intermingling of black licorice, licorice and toasted oak. Seek the subtle hints of bittersweet chocolate. Flavors are enhanced when served cool, not frigid. Explore pairing labyrinth with flavorful cheeses and rich desserts. Cheese. Let me leave you in a dumpster once. But um, <laughs> but yeah, super excited to give it a whirl. I got out. <laughs> Dean Pritchard. Dean Pritchard. Yeah, but so. I know it's going to be one of the, Oh no. Hi, baby. You use gentle. What did I What did I try to open the other day? I did a review of. I had to edit it because there was no way. I had to like, get up and find like a core, like a wine opener. I was like, there's really? no way I'm getting this out of there. I don't know. I haven't. It's watched like old school cork. Yeah, you don't see is. them like that too too often anymore. I haven't seen the, the couple of reviews that you've posted lately. I haven't uh, I haven't watched them yet. Really? Yeah. And then Dark, Dark Souls. <laughs> okay, well I, you're excused then. <laughs> That's a dark head. Yeah. It's okay. Hey, nice and dark called, called a black ale for nothing. Yeah. See, I'm, it's weird. I'm. It's like one of those things we were talking about it earlier. To where um, it's definitely darker than the uh, we were gonna do the side by side with uh, Ryan's homebrew. Oh, really I didn't darker. want to do it side by side. No, like, like I mean, yeah, one, like after, one after, another. after another. You know, it's definitely darker. Yeah, I think um, uh, it went like kind of the Jack's Abbey was a little pretty much on an uneven skill, even kill with your, uh, yeah. your homebrew, and this is definitely darker than both of those. Yeah, it's yeah. more typical. Of um, like a Russian Imperial Stout, yeah. super dark, dark, almost like a coffee stout color. Um, yeah, that's very dark. And it's thick that too. that head does not look like it wants to go anywhere. No. Soon. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a like even the bubbles. It looks on like the an bottle, ice cream float. It looks like a child, like a root yeah. beer float. It does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like even the bubbles, like right on the bottom of the uh, the foam, they're just I mean, sitting. I might need a straw to cut through that. <laughs> yeah, and then we were uh, we were talking off camera about the flavors that we like. Like, I don't like cherries, but I like cherry flavored stuff, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm that way with licorice. I hate licorice, but I like that anise, that licorice anise that you typically get it, in yeah. a beer. Like, the Guten Carlos beers typically have, like, a lot of, like, anise going on and stuff like that. Any anise licorice, same thing. 
Have what you had, had any other beers that have like licorice as a main component? Did you have uh, Goose Island Muddy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, I I had it. I didn't get a ton of licorice from no. it though. You get a little bit. That yeah. swing to just. The money a was bit. nice. Yeah, it, it was, was nice. Nice. I, it I, was, I reviewed. It. I think I gave it like a mid eighties. You know. Yeah, it wasn't. So, I mean, yeah. it wasn't their, their yeah, top tier stout, but it was. It was. I see people. very little American beer in. Uh, he's going to Canada. Canada. He's almost apart from the, your usual. He's like he's like a month away from being a traitor to the <laughs> United States. So we don't. He want. almost has. <laughs> dual, he, has he almost has dual citizenship. Yeah. 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 Ah, oh, let's see what she's got in the nose. That smells awesome. Yeah, it does. That smells delicious. It sm- reminds me of, um, I reviewed a, a Russian Imperial about a month and a half ago, uh, Destruce's Black Albert. It smells just like that. Not getting really a ton of licorice. Yeah, no, have, uh, it's just a roasted, sweet, kind of oaky, tiny little get, bit of coffee. Like, like blindfolded, I, I would almost say bourbon barrel. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know. Did you ever have yeah. a Deschutes yeah, it's, Abyss? Is it bourbon barrel? Just as oak. It kind Deschutes of is what Abyss. No, it kind of smells. It's a they're a barrel ver- barrel aged, but it has it has like some some licorice and molasses in it. Kind of the licorice kind of smells, you know, with it. Wow, that is candy. I mean, it's a piece of candy. Yeah. You know, real sweet. But you said like molasses. Roast malt. It's delicious. I'm drinking yeah, this. Stuff. I don't want to stop it too long because I don't want to get in there. God damn. Mm. That's a good beer. Yeah. You better run to the store to get the rest. Of it. <laughs> That's a good beer. I mean, I'm I'm sure H has doesn't done this one just because you have that tiny little bit of um tiny it's a little bit of hops on there. It's probably a bit more prevalent. Yeah. When it first came out. But, I mean, it's roasted malt candy goodness. Yeah. Nutty. Really sweet. But not overly like it sweet. Definitely, it's more of like a, not so much a malty sweetness, as like a, just a candy sweetness. Yeah. You know? This is a really good beer. Not really getting any licorice. Yeah. And like, like I said, I said uh, before we started the, uh, the review, I've seen this a, a bunch of times at just various places and the the licorice has turned me away turned me away from it exactly and but then um my buddy used to work at goldstein's okay um, it's a local deli around here so he uh he picked up a bottle and like we were playing a bunch of a couple of us got together and playing a bunch of board games and stuff so we busted out this beer and uh we're sipping on it like this is really good do you remember there being a, a bolder licorice component to it when you had it? No, this is actually pretty even to what I had then. I was maybe, uh, I want to say like a year ago, give or take. Yeah. Yeah. And this is like, this is two for two for me for um, with Unita. Like um, like I said, I, I got their um, the Cockeye Cooper, their American Barley one. I'm like, I like American Barley Wines, but really, I don't really like that hot forward presence of American Barley Wines, and it had it, but it was really good, so I was surprised. And with this, I was like, you know, black I ale with licorice, I'm like, it would yeah. probably be good, See, but I don't want a ton of liquor, and then two for two above what I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually three for three. It's uh, the Barley Wine, and me and Joe did, well, you did a review with the uh, birthday suit. 20, yeah, 21st, was it 21st birthday suit? It was a sour. Oh yeah, 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 we did. Yeah. The, we did that one. Yeah, yeah. that was really good. That, you, was, that, was, that really, was good. Yeah, it was really surprising how good it was. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I mean, rating wise, I'd probably give this honestly. I'd probably yeah, give it like a ninety-five. <laughs> I give it yeah, a ninety-five. This is, this like, is really it's, good. It's, it's like that a, good. Yeah, it's really definitely good. like a A, A plus for me. Like when I went to um, the place I got this at is when I originally stumbled upon the uh, upon the Destrues Black <laughs> Albert, and I drank that and it blew me away. I was like, um, what's it called? Girls Open. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I don't want people to know. I don't oh. want them. <laughs> no, That's I'm, why joking. I said I'm joking. I know. I don't want you guys. To know. No, I'm joking. Um, and I went there and I got um. I'm I got gonna that. Buy it. I'm gonna buy it with. <laughs> I got that, and I went home and I was like, I'll give it a whirl because I was like, I think it was like ten dollars for a twelve ounce bottle, and I was like, no, no, no. And then one day I was like, screw it. The label is too cool not to buy it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm like, I'll try it. And I went home and I was blown away by it because it tasted as close to Courage Russian Imperial Stout, which is one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, I'm like, this is awesome. 
Now that was ten dollars for a twelve ounce bottle. This is fifteen dollars for a freaking a, uh, a yeah seven fifty. I mean, this blows it out of the water value wise. You know what I mean? I mean, like I said, we're both we're all pretty much online with as far as rating wise. Yeah, like an A A plus range. Yeah. Um, and availability. Like I've seen it. I've only seen it one place. Um, I've seen it a couple times. Yeah. Um, I've seen it in Goldstein's J and H. I haven't seen it in uh, Krugel's, no. but I haven't been there in a while. I haven't you know. seen this particular pair, but you see, uh, you need. You'll around. see, you need stuff. Yeah. I've seen the twenty first. I see a birthday post. suit. All, birthday suit, yeah. Yeah, all I see that like pretty prevalent. Um, the Cockeye Cooper, I never see anywhere. Yeah. Um, that I have to get shipped to me from I Jersey. I saw that in Allentown. In Allentown? Yeah. At, uh, Apes. Apes. Yeah. Um, and but uh, J and H may have had it. At one point, but I think it sold out pretty quickly. Okay. Um, I but, think. But for also not not alone, but this being a two year old bottle. Yeah, that's, that like, in itself is just like okay, like you know. just over two years. Yeah, you know? it's per, it's probably right. I mean, it would age even better because, it, like you said, what, what was it? A ABV Y thirteen thirteen two. I mean, it lasts for for a long time. But yeah, that's fantastic and beer for that alcohol. No booze. No, yeah. No, no. Yeah. It's just, it's delicious. This is what a Russian Imperial Stout should taste like. Yeah. In my eyes. And, uh, like I do the whole value availability. Availability would be like a, probably like a four. Value is like a ten. I mean, for, for $15, fifteen dollars for yeah. it's two year old seven fifty a beer, a 95 beer. I mean, when that, you, what you going to do? Is that the uh, first ten value? No, I no, no. There's a lot of beers that are like high end values. A beer doesn't have to be fantastic to have a like. For me, like something that would get a value of ten would be like Trobe's Troganator. Like it's not the best off right. the base of the planet, even though it won like best off. You can look up best off. Like, like, throw some change down. And buy but it's bottle. for twelve dollars for a six pack right. yeah. of a beer of that quality. That's you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's a correlation. And there's some beers which I love. Like uh, what would be an example of it? A lot of the brewery stuff might be like, okay, it's it's I rate it as a ninety three, but I give it a value of five because yeah. I don't want to pay forty bucks right. for a beer that I give a ninety two to. Yeah, you know what I mean. For example, like this, I gave a ninety five to. I would give a ninety five probably to the blah, but then this would get a value of ten, and the blah would get a value of right five. Yeah, you know what I mean because it's just the price point is so yeah. skewed. Yeah, and I, you know, so it's like one of those mean. things. But yeah, you need to, you guys, know how to make some beer. Is this in New York too? Is you need it in New York? For some it, reason, uh, I don't. I think Utah. No, yeah, just, Salt Lake City. Really, you Mormon bastards. Anyway, Sorry, are they allowed to make beer that expensive or that high? I didn't are, think you were allowed I to make. I didn't think so. Yeah, I thought it had to be like they were all low ABV beers. Maybe. Or maybe. <laughs> Or maybe they have to be low be to Don't drink it. Maybe spot. they can make it and send it out, but they just can't drink it there. It could be, because I think there's the rules like that opposite in California. I think you make a certain high ABV beer and then you can't ship it or something. Or it used to be that way. That's not true. Brewery ships it. That's like 20%. Don't listen to me. Um. The brewery actually doesn't actually they ship. won't ship out. They That's don't right. ship out. They you need no, to, you to uh, be in Cali. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You you can be a member. So that might be right. I think anything over fourteen percent they can't actually ship out of state. Usually breweries can't ship directly to someone. They can't ship no, alcohol. I don't mean. Oh, yeah, oh I they know. They can't you're ship about. alcohol to you, which is why you know for the reservation society stuff you have you need someone near the brewery to get your stuff and then ship to you. Well, uh, laws or rules might have changed. The only reason I'm saying it is because the old um, old stock seller reserves that were like higher in ABV. Me and my one buddy who are old stock junkies, we couldn't get them. Like in, he actually went as far as to call the brewery, and they're like, "No, it's all in state only. You have to come and get it." Okay. So we had they to like, black like, market ex- it okay. to get it because you can go like on there and like we couldn't get it in any form or fashion other than getting somebody to send it to us. But I could be totally wrong. Who the hell yeah. knows? Um, last time I've heard was shipping alcohol is uh, not legal. No, oh, yeah, from Very a brewery like, or person to person. Yeah. Well, in Pennsylvania, you uh, no, no, no UPS. It's, it's not it like using the postal service. It's illegal using UPS. It's against their policy, but it's not technically illegal. Yeah, they use like UPS. Or they will like confiscate and pour it. You won't get. Legally in trouble. Thank God, ne- none of us have ever sent or received beer via mail ever. Yes. 
anyway, um, it's another review in the books. Awesome beer. If you can find it, especially age, you should give it a whirl. Uh, Matt, Massive Beer Reviews, Massive Beers, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Joe, NEPA Beer Reviews on everything that that's on. Brew Photo, about everything. Twitter, Instagram. MySpace. Definitely check out his MySpace. Yeah, that's where it's good. I'm friends with Tom. Yes, son of a bitch. Him and Pete. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't, whatever. Anyway, um, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully you're drinking an awesome beer like this right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, sounds